Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. The start of a new project, hopefully a quick build. Um, I was up in the loft just now looking through my plan box for a particular plan, which hasten to add I didn't find. However, um, that's for a future project, a winter project, possibly in conjunction with another well-known YouTuber. We could possibly be building one each, It'd be a bit of fun. Uh, but anyway, I came across this plan, which I'd stashed away since I was a teenager. And I thought, do you know what? I wouldn't mind building one of those for two reasons. One, another club member is building a quarter scale one. And two, I've actually got, let me show you, a hand grinder. This one's got 100, 100 meters on it. Um, I don't propose to tow a glider up from 100 meters away, but it works very well. It's about a 12 to one ratio, and it's beautifully made uh, from a, um, a club member who uh, sadly has passed away. But he's, I saw this and thought, ah, this, I can use this. So it's now in my possession. Um, so what is this model I've, I've decided to build for a project? Well, let me show you the plan. It's a little bit, um, little bit moth eaten, as you can see. Um, but there it is. It's the Veron Slingsby Prefect Mark I tow line glider which is ideal for this. I can tow it up. So um, as you can see, the plans are a little bit tired and I've got no um, formers or wing ribs showing. However, a quick look on um, outer zone. And of course the plans were there. So I printed up a new set, which are identical to that set and take them together. But also most importantly, I've got the formers plan and the wing ribs plan so with these bits I shall build myself a beautiful it's 30 inches by the way which is a decent size um, and also while with my plan I've got the building instructions uh, just is it yeah to put my other glasses on to read it um, there's, there's one thing I'd noticed, there's no CG marked on the plan, but I see here there's a balancing and flying section. Insert plasticine through the cockpit and onto the rear face of the nose block, adding sufficient to make the model hang slightly nose down in its normal gliding attitude when supported by the fingertips under the spar. So there we go. Uh, it balances on the main spar, which is where you'd start anyway, about 30% of the cord. So that confirms that. So... I shall start with the fuselage. They're lovely, elegant wings, aren't they? You could, I actually, you could make it rudder controlled. What if I should make it rudder only? That's an idea, isn't it? Free flight is fun, but if I've got rudder control, nice to mix and match up a little bit, isn't it? Oh, by the way, Phil Smith, the designer. Phil Smith, as you probably know, a prolific designer for Veron. Who knows? I might even put. I'd have to put a very small battery. I don't want to up the wing loading more than I need to. Um, I've got some very small 1S batteries. I could use that and just uh, all in one circuit board. And this is what I'm going to build very next. I'm going to start this build. Of course, I need the formers. I can stick it straight onto a bit of 3 inch by 1 16th balsa. Then just cut through the paper shapes. I'm just working my way through the the sheet guys you can see a couple of bits I've done there already and uh, yeah just what I let you see what I'm doing for a minute it's surprising how much extra pressure you've got to press to get through the paper the good thing about the paper is um, when you cut something close to the end of a like say that piece there that could easily split across there without the paper on. With the paper on, it doesn't uh, doesn't split. Um, to get the paper off, if it has glue, just damp it off slightly, and it'll just come off easily. It's quite important to hold the blade 
at 90 degrees to the bit you're cutting, otherwise you're going to have angled edges. They're not going to glue very well at all. Just watched um, a couple of videos. That's why I haven't been filming. I've been watching videos while I've been doing this. Uh, one from Downwind Checklist. Andrew, he's just finished his hurricane. And and Mark Croucher building his Young Meister. He's just put on the start of the undercarriage. So two very interesting videos to watch there. I was just thinking, guys, if I was to make this two-channel ready to control, um, it would make quite a nice little slip soil, wouldn't it? We're talking different, very different uh, genres here, aren't we? One minute I'm talking about free flight. Next minute, single channel. <laughs> Next minute, two-channel. Anyway, I'm going to continue cutting out all these little pieces. Is... Rightio, there's a few bits cut out. Uh, before I can do that, I have to make the fuselage sides. So they're going to look like that, and they're 1 16th balsa. I've got K1, which is that piece there, and I'm just working some pins in here just to get this into shape. And then once the sides are made, I can start um, putting them together with some formers. These were used as training gliders, and I think they were also used in the ATC, Air Training Corps. Okay, there's my two long guns. Okay, now all I need to do is to cut all of these diagonals, one there, an upright, another diagonal, working my way along, and I'm going to produce a side like this. So let's just pop it off and see how it looks. Okay, so there's my first fuselage side made. I'll make a second one. Once the second one's made, then we can start adding the formers in the centre section. Glued this one up. I actually used white glue on this side. So I thought I was going to not look at it until tomorrow morning, but I've been watching videos and cutting out the formers. And cutting out the notches using the little um, slot cutter which I made. It's just a piece of 16th balsa with a piece of uh, fine glass paper on the side. Just running it up and down so they're ready to go in so I'm hoping that this is going to be dry enough um, to uh, work on without it falling apart I'm just going to cut the slots a little bit tight and have to sand them into the perfect fit and have them sloppy of course I'm actually sanding this one sideways. One side done. Okay guys, let's see as much as I can do pin to the board. I've got a centre line down the middle of the fuselage, which it's, it is centred. You might not look it from the camera angle, but so I built it up over that using the um, sockets to square things up. So yeah, there we go. Better go to bed. It's uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so I put the bottom uh, cross members on. Now I'm just putting on some building up the front, and I'll show you what I've decided to do. I was slept it uh, slept on it overnight. And what I've decided to do is to make it two channel that I can uh, tow up as a glider 
then um, control down and also I've got um, this here I've got a little um, actually I think it's five channel receiver but I've decided to um, put in a rudder and elevator and I thought that could sit down underneath in there sort of somewhere like that and then the push rods can come through F5 and then out through the back of the fuselage um, and then the battery could pick up the battery lead and slide it in from the open cockpit just getting on with the tailplane guys um, not much to see except the consideration is where am I going to put the elevator and uh, I think um, might have to add a little bit more wood in the centre cutting that in half it's going to leave not a lot of uh, wood for uh, the hinge so I'll probably add a little bit more to that right that's the tailplane set up I've put an extra bit of wood in the middle to allow me to separate the elevators and an extra bit this side just to help mount it onto the fuselage uh, and then I'll cut it right down the middle I'll put a block of wood on the front of the fuselage big old ugly block that I had laying about uh, so I can carve that to shape tell you what I could do though is to stick this to a piece of balsa wood and cut out all the ribs while I cut through them I'm just doing the live stream at the same time that is for channel members uh, just for a chat and who have we got I can't tell you A live stream though is good for anyone that wants to watch at a later date you should find out via um, notifications I guess I guess if you're in the States it's the middle of the afternoon and if you're in Europe it's uh, gone nine in the evening and I guess if you're in southern hemisphere there's a, probably a 12 hour difference perhaps you're just getting up for breakfast here we are it's another one done I know as soon as um, somebody comes on I'm up I'm not going to be able to get much more done because I'll be gassing I like live streams because you can uh, sort of get on with stuff at the same time as you know when I'm watching other people's live streams I don't necessarily say hi which is a point because does that mean could be anybody else watching I don't know oh, no it isn't so it doesn't matter I'm talking to myself currently which because I do all the time when I'm talking to the camera okay then let's have a quick look at this wing made entirely of CA apart from the joins on the front and back edge now I don't <laughs> feel it's got a huge amount of strength but it doesn't feel too bad I guess I don't think it's going to withstand a um, cartwheel or anything but 
I don't uh, plan to do any. <laughs> so I'll trim that and uh, these end bits and get the other one laid up. I'll set the other wing up guys and then we'll have a look at them. It's going to look fantastic actually. Quite a big wing now, isn't it? Classic shape. I built one of these when I was just a young man. A very young man. Young man! Young man! Yeah, very young man. I can't remember finishing it or flying it, but I must have done. You saw me take off the uh, starboard wing, which I built. So they're only roughly sanded at the moment, but they will glue together there. And they'll glue on top of there like that, making a very, very fine looking aeroplane. Okay, a little bit of progress. So I've bound on the tail skid and the front skid, and a little bit of plywood. So the fuselage is just about ready for covering. I've got to work out. I think the next job is to work out exactly where the horns are going to go and the, con the control rods once that's done then I can tissue the fuselage. A little mock-up guys just going to put a picture up on the community tab uh, for members to check out uh, but yeah look at that it's looking uh, really quite smart I think. I'm just going to make the holes for the hinges and I've got a very small drill bit I'm just going to ease through this balsa very carefully there we go that was pretty good came right out where it should have done Let me go in there like that a little drop of CA will hold it in after I've tissued it or finished it, however I'm going to finish it. That one there. Go in there. I put them in and then I use those as a marker for uh, placing the holes in the other side. If the wood was a bit thicker, you can just, just push a pin in. That's what I do with thicker wood, just push a pin in is good enough. But um, a pin on this wouldn't work, it's just too delicate. And with a bit of luck, the elevator is hinged. Unusual shape with that. That should be enough to affect the glide quite nicely. It's almost just a trim. This is just guided free flight, don't forget, I think. And if you want to put on more than two hinges, say there's a plenty of meat in the middle there. If I wanted to put on a, a, a decent hinge there, um, you can always add a bit of balsa if you want a little bit more meat, but I think this will be fine. But... If you put on, say, three hinges and you find that it's really stiff, just cut the middle hinge out. So I do the rudder and uh, come back very soon. And that seems, I mean, that's quite a stiff, quite stiff and quite a solid little hinge. I've got a working slot here. Maybe I'll, I'll make up some push rods and bring them out here and I can cut them to size afterwards as long as they line up. So maybe I'll do that next because I can't, Get the control horn into position until I know exactly where the push rod is going to come out. Right, this will be a bit that um, some people would like to see, I'm sure. So I've got the wire. I'm using wire, uh, very very fine wire, and it's 
not actually clipped into the servo, but it's right where it needs to be. And I made a slot in the back of the balsa just by uh, pushing a drill in and out just to open it up. But what I was going to show you is now it shows me the position I need for my control horn. So I've got my position then for the horn so I can make a horn. I've got my horn position for that, which is good. Let's just have a look, see where this horn is going to end up. I've put an extra piece of wood in there because I knew I would need to put a horn in. That's pretty much where it needs to be, look, right in the middle of that piece of wood. So we have now located the position for our elevator horn, which is just in here make the horns I can start tissueing that's good and then I can cut this cable to length when I've got the horn in I've got the position I can connect in the adjuster at the end and cut the wire to the correct length and then put a little uh, bit of heat shrink on it and we will have a working control surface so just to recap, I found where the best CG position was, glued in the um, board, got my control surfaces cut, found a piece of wire or whatever rod you want to use, you could use carbon. So what I've got to do is make some control horns, cut little slots ready for them to glue in and once they're glued in once it's covered then I can glue them in oh I've also bent a tow hook to go on to the bottom of the skid as illustrated in the on the plan so it's going to go in there bind on but I think I'll just um, cover the model first I'll probably do um, a separate video for the tissue covering and then I can go into a little bit more detail because I know a lot of people find it difficult. I do too. But to watch somebody else do it is always a bonus, isn't it? Right, put that up there. So that's that done. So I'm going to go away, guys, and I'm going to... Um, oh, the wing struts, by the way, I'm going to make last. When the wings are in, and I can then measure the length I need accurately. Oh, Cliff, what a great idea. Thanks for watching, guys. If you watched this far, thank you very much. It's an interesting little model, but do you know what? As I build this, in my mind, I've still I've got the finished model. I can see it going up on the tow line and coming off and putting my winder down, picking the transmitter up, and then starting to guide it if necessary. So I can see it all happening, and it's going to be a beautiful evening. I'm going to be probably up well possibly the local sports field uh, and it's going to be fantastic so really looking forward to that and if you hook a little bit of rising air of course you know it could be a really decent flight so yeah it's um it's a nice it's a nice combination of, of stuff that i've done um learning the skills uh of, of building these little uh, airplanes and of course i do glide in anyway but i've never built a free flight glider like this not in recent decades anyway Certainly not with radar control in it. So, you know, it's just a combination of different things that I can do into a different project. So it's, everything's ready to cover. And what am I going to use? I'll look through my tissue stash. I think it has to be tissued, really. So in part two, I'm going to do the tissue. And you can see what I'm going to do color scheme wise. And um, I'll make it a separate video. So I'm going to link that at the end. And click on that and you see all about the tissue in. And then obviously the third uh, video is going to be the maiden flight. But we're a little way off that yet. So thanks for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And give the video a thumbs up if you've learned something or um, you've been uh, entertained. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully both. Okay, guys. See you in part two. Cheers. Cheers, cheers.